after six heats with 48 artists competing, there could be only one winner. The Landscape Artist of the Year is Jen Gash. Yes. Some days I wake up and I think, did I dream all of that? Hello, I'm Jen Gash and I'm at this exhibition at the Royal West of England Academy to look at the work of Albert Irvin. Now, he is one of my favourite painters, and this beautiful exhibition has been curated beautifully by Stuart Geddes, who was a family friend of Bert's, and he's also president of the RWA here. One of the things I'm doing today is looking at the work and thinking, what can I learn as an artist? You know, I'm a practising painter, and one of the most important things that I can do to help me paint in a different way, or to develop my own practice, or to deepen my own practice, is to come to exhibitions like this. And when I stand in front of a beautiful painting like this, I see things which give me all sorts of ideas about how to use paint, how to use different colours, how to structure my work. And that's not about interpreting it, because that's what the abstract expressionists really didn't want us to do. Yves Klein said, don't interpret the work. There's no point. It's only me that knows what's going on. Kind of still in shock, but now it's here. I'm just like, wow, what on earth am I doing here? Uh, I've pinched my teenage daughter's socks that I'm going to use to paint with. It's really helpful. Yeah, I like the emerge bit. I'm not sure about the butterfly bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, and that's why I'm quite happy to be quite slow at the start, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we don't I'm... call you Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> No, that's not what your nickname is. Jen's travelling up to the site of the battlefield with Alan Wakefield and some of the members of the Salonica Campaign Society. <laughs> so why, why am I in a tractor, Alan? Why are you in a tractor? Well, it's the easiest way to get up here because you would have to walk. Do you have trouble making up your mind? N no, yes. <laughs> Behind me right now is my eldest daughter, Jilly, and my niece, Poppy. And they're probably thinking, oh my God, Mum's done nothing to the painting. <laughs> Meditativeness. That's a, that's that's a word. It, it is a word, but it's a very difficult word, isn't it? It's not very useful. <laughs> <laughs> All this enchanting place was destroyed utterly when once we set foot on the ground and marched from the dock to the base camp. For the place absolutely stank, and if there were a stronger word, I would use it. <gasps> How do you think these experiences changed Stanley's art when he came back? Well, the whole experience of the war had been damaging. And what was interesting was that that sense of camaraderie was also echoed in the people that were attending the tour. It was lovely, actually. And when I tell people I'm a painter, they have every, all sorts of different images in their mind. Some people think I'm basically painting every day, and then I take my paintings to the little painting shop where someone wants to sell them and they get put on the wall and then by the end of the day I'll sold five paintings and paid my mortgage. No, that's not what it's about. I feel very responsible right now from a number of fronts. One, that to commemorate this battle, but also the lives lost that have not been recorded in, a, in any particular way for those families over the years.